If I ever won a Grammy first person, I'm shouting out a cilantro. And I thank my parents for making me so I could eat God's cilantro. What's up? It's your boy May. Shooting from the studio in LA to plug my friends at Mobile Premier League Gaming USA. I've been playing Fruit Shop on Mobile Premier League and winning cash money. You can too. Sign up now and get a $5 bonus to start playing right away. Refer a friend and receive $20. All the cash you win on MPL is yours to keep and easy to withdraw, PayPal or your bank. Don't worry, you don't need money to play. All the games are free. You just have to be 18 and up to play. Just go to the iOS App Store and the MPL website for Android and download some fun. I'm on the art and the food scene. Fuck rap, laying back, eating poutine. Shout out to my friend, my brother, my G, my slime, Bam Bam Bronson, yo, Action Bronson. I honestly could have done this whole series based off of his food references, but I just picked one. We're about to make some poutine. But you know if there's a Mayhem Loren version or something, it's not a normal poutine. We go on a DR, we making a pollo guisado poutine. We're gonna make it in an Instapot to speed up the process. We're gonna start it in the cast iron, get the chicken brown, and we're gonna let it fall apart in the Instapot so we could sprinkle that shredded pollo guisado on top of those fries. I already have a bunch of chicken thighs that have been marinating in nothing but lime and salt. You wanna just stab them with a sharp knife and then put them on a cutting board. You going heavy on the adobo? Yes. A little onion powder. Need a little garlic powder. Rika just gives it a beautiful color. We're gonna add scallions in. I know you usually don't add scallions, but today I'm gonna add scallions. Usually you wouldn't cut vegetables on the same plate with raw chicken or with the same knife. But I'm about to cook it all, so it really doesn't matter. I'm making the base for sofrito. Yeah, me and Action have had poutine. Anything good there is to eat on this earth, we've had together. Lastly, we need garlic and cilantro. Got a red pepper, a little jalapeno too. I'm gonna sneak in for a little spice. I'm a spice sneak. We'll be driving around or walking through, hopping on the train and eating at the fire spots. <laughs> Dog since childhood, man. Man, Action was my binge partner. Me and him would overeat together. And speaking of me and Action and food, me and Action actually, we went to junior high school together and we were cool. The class we really got tight in was, you know, they used to have like electives, gym, wood shop, and we, we chose cooking. And in the cooking class is where we got cool. They'd have you make simple things like cookies, pancakes, we're gonna make French toast. I'd be on one side of the room making beef stew. He'd be making a T-bone steak. We're doing whatever we want. And then we just got cool and that's really Ironically, our friendship started through food, junior high school. Thank God for junior high school. Uh-huh, a little habanero, woo, sneaky heat. Forks, there's never any forks. The plan now was to brown the chicken, and then we're gonna guisado it. Take the remainder of that lime juice. It's good, you need a little more kick to it though. Oh yeah, I forgot to add salt and pepper. Don't worry about what's in this cup. Don't ask what's in this cup. If you know, you know. You feel me, little cilantro? Oh! If I ever won a Grammy first person, I'm shouting out a cilantro. And I thank my parents for making me so I could eat God's cilantro. This recipe will definitely make it into my cookbook. This recipe came out of my cookbook and came here first. I'm gonna pour this here and then transfer it because we don't want to lose any of that flavor. See, now we got all that flavor. We got all those morsels we were gonna leave in the pan. Now we have to add the rest of the ingredients, which include olives. We want some of this good olive juice too. Chicken stock magically appeared. Tomato paste magically appeared. And now to get to these fries, we're gonna let this... We here, we back. I got a nifty little device in front of me. I could do this all day. I like a lot of potatoes, man. Potatoes are good. I'm gonna put a little olive oil on them. I'm gonna add a little sea salt to these, a little black pepper, a little adobo, cause come on, man. We just gotta keep everything on theme. Looking for the crispy ones, the crispiest ones. The moment we've all been waiting for. Exactly what I wanted, falling apart, falling off the bone, pressurized beautifully. So oh, this, this, this smells like I just landed in DR. Hands down, this is the best thing I ever made. Cheese curds are 
It's premature cheddar. There's aged and mature cheddar. This is premature. Some poutine has shredded beef on top. Some has pollo guisado. The way that chicken fell apart. That's why I put it in the pressure cooker. Mr. Cilantro and Mrs. Aguacate had a baby together. This forkful here, we got cheese curd, air fried fries. We got a little pollo. Canada, you need to embrace this. Embrace your Canadian Latin roots. Man, this is this is ridiculous. Again, Bam Bam. Shout out to my brother Action Bronson, man. The song was fire, the line was fire, and you inspired a dish that was out of this world. Just thank you for what you do. Thank you for being you. I'm out of here. Can't even walk. Somebody roll me out of here. Oh shit. Bring this with me.